So this is the Kelly 76 compressor and uh, this is my favorite compressor, no doubt about it. Uh, it just sounds so good and it sounds the way I think that a, a compressor should sound like. It's, uh, it has that color of the classic 1176 compressor, the studio compressor, and I just love it. And um, I get a lot of questions about this compressor compared to the Pete Cornish OC1 compressor. And uh, I usually say that they couldn't be uh, more different, really. It's uh, just a totally different design. If you want to have this compressor, uh, you want to have a compressor, to my uh, ears, where you can really hear the sound. That's the way I, I see this pedal. I can hear that the, the compression is going on, and I love the tone of this guy right here. It has a great built-in buffer, and it just has that sound. Uh, I really like it and it is my go-to pedal if I want to have a clean sound. The Pete Cornish compressor is more like uh, the compressor that's really transparent, you won't really hear it's there. It's a great compressor, but it's a different thing. This guy right here is for those of us who really loves a classic compressor and just has that great sound. <laughs> I just love the sound of this compressor and it sounds really good. Uh, the way I have it set up is uh, actually with a really strong compression. I mean, there's a lot of compression going on. That's what I'm, that's what I mean. Uh, but then I have the dry uh, almost at 12 o'clock between 11 and 12 o'clock. So it's kind of like a parallel compression going on right here. And uh, if I remove this and turn up the, the output a little bit. Turn off the delay. I I miss the having uh, the dry blended in. Uh, so it's kind of like a parallel compression, and uh, the sound of it is just great. And this tone right here is my sound. Uh, I would go into a clean amp, and then I would use the. Uh, the compressor right here and sometimes like you you saw me do add the ep booster turn down the guitar just a little bit i never use uh on clean sounds the guitar with the volume on 10 i just like to turn it down to zero and uh gradually turn it up to see where my sound is there it is and then just add a little delay and i'm just As you noticed in the video, I hope you noticed, uh, I use the Kelly 76 as a compressor for clean sounds, but I also use it a lot just to boost the revival drive, just to add some more sustains to the revival drive. And that's my thing. I uh, use a compressor in front of an overdrive, in front of an, a boost pedal. I just, uh, I like that. And then I just tweak everything until I found a sound that's really, uh, that I really like.